a monitor darkly here. Today we're going to be looking at the Fontaine lock and this is a five pin or slider whatever you want to call it lock and like other French tubular style locks you have these five sliders that move up and down and when they're set to the correct depth the lock will be able to turn. It's my understanding that uh, this is the predecessor to the Fontaine Dynaxis. I wasn't able to confirm that though. And uh, unfortunately I won't be gutting this today because I don't believe it can be done non-destructively and I'll show you why after I pick it. And uh, I wasn't able to find any sort of diagrams or schematics or internal pictures or anything like that uh, online so I can't be certain of how this lock actually works but given uh, what we've seen with other French style locks like this that uh, can make an educated guess that there's some sort of slider sidebar mechanism going on there. <clears throat> And looking at the key, you can see we have five cuts like this that push each slider to their correct depth. And then this fin down here is what tensions the lock in this bottom groove here. <clears throat> and to pick this, I'll be using my uh, Pro Pick along with my state-of-the-art wire tensioner. It's made from the handle of a binder clip and I cut the handle off a cheap Chinese dimple pick. Stuck it on here just to give myself a little more comfort. And uh, this is your basic jiggle test lock. However, with these style of locks, they always act tapered, which means you're gonna have to nudge each one probably a dozen or so times before you really get it fully set. So you just gotta keep moving along and have some patience and keep going there. Something on two and three. Could click on five. Something on four. Another little something on four. Clicks on three. Click on four. I'm just getting little micro movements as I go between two, three, and four here. A lot of times when you're doing these locks, you won't get feedback really. It'll just be binding and then it won't be binding anymore. I think four is okay. Something on three. A little click on four. Click on three and that did it. Okay. So the reason I won't be gutting this is if you look at the little brass rings around the cam here, you can see that there's no break in them that I could where I could use a clip remover. So I can get you a close up on that. You can see it's just one solid ring all around on both sides. And I'm pretty sure I'd have to get, actually gut this. I'd have to drill out these two hardened pins here, which I definitely don't want to do since this is a rare lock. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video on the Fontaine lock. And if you, please feel free to leave any questions or comments you may have. And until next time, take care and thanks for watching.